Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. So in this video, I'm going to share with you four different places that you can download Gino and transcriptome FASTA files and also gene annotation files such as the GTF file or the gene transfer format. Really, it tells you, for example, from chromosome 1, this coordinates to this coordinates is gene 1, and this coordinates to the next coordinates is gene 2. Okay. Really, for you to do any bioinformatic analysis with, uh, for example, DNA sequencing data or RNA sequencing data, you will you need those reference files because you need to map the DNA sequencing reads to the genome, and you need to map the RNA sequencing reads to the transcriptome. But for in the beginning, it can be really confusing because there are multiple uh, places that you can get those files. And today I'm going to show you four different places that you can get those files. And but before we go that there, like I highly recommend you go you come to uh, the Gino UCAC Gino browser FAQ uh, format uh, page. Don't worry, I will have this uh, link in the description of this video, so you can always find it. So in this page, it tells you all those differences or the definitions of all this different uh, uh, file format. For example, GTL file, the gene annotation file, and other file format, VCL file, the variant, variant calling format, or weak file, or this different file format. And if you click that, you will see the definition and the example. Okay. Okay. So the first place you want, you can get those uh, reference files is UCC Genome Browser. So, so you can go to UCC Genome Browser, Google, and Go here and then you can go to download and download those genome data but before we go and download those data there, there's something i want to mention the nuance of different versions of genome for example for human you have the grch 37 and also the 38 version and they are corresponding to hg19 or hg38 so those are different versions of the human genome because maybe in the later version the whole um, genome, uh, there, there are more uh, places of the genome are sequenced because of the technology. And even now, you see here, we have this like, T2T uh, reference genome, this telomere to telomere uh, assembly, because nowadays we have really long reads uh, for PEC bio or nanopore, so you can really sequence the repetitive regions of the whole genome, and you get the full uh, assembly. And the same, similarly to mouse, you have the uh, GRCM38 and 39. They are corresponding to MM9 and MM39. Okay. So now you so really make sure you uh, record which genome reference genome version you use for your data analysis because uh, different version of the genome can give you uh, different results. Okay. To download those data, you come here genome data, and if you want. Just take human genome as example. So you can click here, and you see the standard genome sequence files and uh, the annotation files for your GTF files here. So if you click here, so uh, the oh, this is a T2T genome. So let's go to the uh, HG38 genome. Uh, so click here and click here so if you scroll down so for example uh, by the way here in the beginning those are the readme to explain what's the differences or what are those files here so for example here the hg38.fa.gz is the genome reference FASTA file and the and also you have the uh, mrnafa.gz file those are the uh, transcriptome FASTA file. Okay. Okay. So the next place that you can uh, get those reference files is Ensemble. So Ensemble is like Europe based, and if you just Google like download reference genome Ensemble, so you will end up with uh, this page. And if you scroll down here, then you see different species that are available. And uh, for example, for human, then you have the DNA, essentially the, f the genome FASTA file, and the cDNA, 
this is the uh, transcript on FASTA file. So if you click that, you'll see the cdna.org.fa.gz file. Okay, so this is the file that you, you need to make, uh, make an index, for example, for RNA sequencing quantification tools such as Salmon and uh, Callisto. Okay, and uh, you see here, you also have the, uh, the GTF files here. So if you click here, so you see those are the GTF file, essentially the gene annotation file tell, telling you uh, where are the genes and where are the transcripts or the isoforms. Okay, so the next place that you can get those files is the NCBI. Okay, and if you Google NCBI download reference genome files, you will mostly like, most likely land on this page. And there's FTP site, so if you see here, if you click it, and then you see the genome, re uh, or the, then you can go to the RefSeq, and you can go to vertebrate mammalian, and then you can go to homo sapiens, those human, okay? Again, then you can go to the latest assembly version, Again, GRCH38, and you you will find the, the GTF files, the uh, the FASTA files, and also the RNA FASTA file. So those are the transcript. Okay. And the last place that you can get those reference file is called Gene Code. So you, you can just Google Gene Code, and reference download. And if you come here, you also have as the mouse and the human. And also remember, for different uh, uh, reference files, it comes to comes with different versions. Okay, current release, for example. So we click, click here, then you you see this page, and then you see the GTF files, the NG annotation file, the multiple files here. Then you look, uh, read the description to see which one that you you need to use. And the FASTA files, then this is the transcript sequence, essentially that's transcriptal. And then you also have the genome sequence. This is the uh, DNA, essentially the, the genome, genome file. Okay, so those are the four different places uh, that you can get uh, the reference files. First, the UCSC genome browser. Second is the Ensemble. And third is the uh, NCBI. And lastly is the gene code. And really it can be confusing and then really which one you need to use. Uh, so I come, I often use the uh, ensemble one and also the gene code one. Uh, but in my next video, uh, I will show you how to actually download those uh, genome files like programmatically using some command line tool. Of course, you can go here and just download them manually but it will be much more convenient that you can do that on the command line. So stay tuned for my next video, and I will see you next time. I hope uh, you like this video. Click subscribe if you like it. See you next time.